Okay, so we're gonna, the first one we're going to do is the simple two-to-one toaster up adjustment system for a laser. It's got pros and cons, but um, it might take me a little while to tie it, but here we go. That's your rough course adjustment for the length of this bit of rope. And uh, we're going to go through the toe strap. And we're going to tie a bowling into the middle of this bit. Okay. Okay, so at this point here, this is your handle to pull the, 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 to adjust the toe strap. At this point here, you've got it in its maximum length. Okay, your course adjustment might be that one. You might adjust that knot to uh, to reduce its maximum length. Because this sort of toe strap adjustment doesn't stay in one place. It tends to work itself from, from its tight position while you're sailing. Eventually, eventually, it slowly but surely will work itself back to the long position. So the long one is the one you want to set for your maximum hiking length. But if you pull this one, which you will do round the top mark, going round the top mark on port, it's easy to pull that one from that side of the camera. Okay, this rope now has gone a lot further. So it means the toe strap's tighter. When you go around the lured mark on port and you want to go hiking again, this bit of string is close to you, you pull it and it's long again. Now that's a very short leg person or somebody that doesn't know how to straight leg hike, so it obviously be a little bit shorter than that, so the course adjustment needs to be changed. A little bit tighter. And that's about what I hike with, even with short legs. Okay, so I go from super tight and light winds to get good feel of the boat to long. Now let's look at the uh, disadvantages of this system. The disadvantages are that it's, that it's asymmetrical. At the moment when you're on port tack, that bowline slips towards this ring and effectively is all taken from this ring and so it's a long toe strap. On the other tack you'll find it slips that way and suddenly it becomes a short toe strap. So if you don't mind having a long toe strap on port and a short toe strap on starboard, then this is a great system. But if you do find yourself slowly growing asymmetrically, it's not a good idea. So I don't tend to use this system. But it works extremely well, shortening and lengthening. Okay, the second disadvantage is, this system only works with toe straps designed by Rooster. We made our toe straps slightly shorter so that the two to one system would work because long toe straps, you can't move this boat in far enough that way it runs out of range. So you're better off if you've got an overlong toe strap using the other method, and it's also the other method is also good because it's not asymmetrical. The second toe strap adjustment system, it's known as the Robert Scheidt method because he was the guy that I first saw it on his boat. Maybe he didn't design it, but you know that's the one I call it. Um, Robert's obviously decided he needed to be able to adjust his toe strap. But with the two-to-one system and his toe strap being too long, because the standard ones that were made at the time were too long, um, and you weren't allowed to change the toe straps of the worlds, he developed this system. It looks really, really similar, but it's not. The, um, in this case, the bowline's going to go around this ring. Well, it's not going just around the ring. It's going to go around the ring and the other sheet. Now, it's going to take a little while to do this, with a little bit of effort, I'm sure I can get it through it. It's designed to be a very tight fit. I've used the other string to help pull it through, with a bit of rope, and now we're through. Right, so it's not just going to tie a bowline on top of that rope there, it's going to be tying a bowline behind that rope. So effectively, that's where the bowline's going to be. So, when that one's tight, you'll see, if you can get in closely, that bowline is pulling this line into the back of the deck eye. So it grabs it. So you can make it tight no matter how long or short the toe strap is, you can pull it as tight as you want to, and it grabs it. Um, this is why we use the thick rope, because it really does grab that rope really nicely. Obviously you've got two positions. You've got your maximum length position, and for me, my, this is 
is the one thing I have to adjust whenever I get a charter boat. I have to look at how, how far away from the side deck I am. Got to be a little bit shorter than that. That's more like it. That's the, the maximum length position and I can pull it tight and I've got a short toe strap. Nice thing is, it's not asymmetrical because it comes off that eye and that eye. So the toe strap's the same length on both tacks. The toe strap elastic, go through your toe strap and around the back of your traveller. And it's a twice round. Any sort of knot you like, but I will do, I don't know the name of this knot, I should do one of those. And the same on this one. Done. And so long as you use a separate piece of elastic, because the laser class rules say you're not allowed to use that elastic holding the water bottle in, for doing two purposes, you can put yourself a little bit of thin elastic between the cleat and the thing, and you've got yourself a nice water bottle holder position in there. And the nice thing is, instead of putting it around the mast, and the boat goes up and down every wave, and you get a massive amount of movement in that water bottle, which means it pounds the waves, this part of the boat stays fairly stationary. So you don't get too much panning of the waves with extra weight here.